Is it possible new COVID restrictions could stop Britons going home, crossing the country for Christmas? Is that what we're talking about here? Well, yes, the government's own scientific advisers are advising that new restrictions, including stopping households mixing, might be needed to stop hospitalizations because of COVID rising above 3,000 a day in the UK. And they need to introduce those restrictions as soon as possible. But a third of the cabinet are reportedly against these new restrictions. And the question is whether the Prime Minister would be willing to risk the defeat in the par in Parliament of putting these new restrictions past a vote. He's already suffered a record mutiny on the last batch of restrictions yes. and a humiliating defeat in that special local election. So it'll be political pressures weighing against this very clear scientific advice. Uh, yes, and, and we saw that uh, the, the government essentially had to li rely on the opposition to get its plans mm. through with the, with the limited measures we saw introduced just a week or so ago. Now, one of the ministers in Boris Johnson's government who opposed the new rules was the former Brexit chief David Frost. Now he quit at the weekend. What does that mean for UK-EU relations? We know that his brief, and there are still post-Brexit negotiations going on, particularly around Northern Ireland and Fish and other matters. Now that brief has gone to the Foreign Secretary, Liz Truss. What does that tell us? Well, interestingly, she was a Remainer at the Brexit vote in 2016, but she's since become a Brexit enthusiast, and we know there's no one more zealous than a convert. She's an ardent fan of former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, both in her embrace of free markets and now her disdain for the European Union. Uh, and so she's unlikely to be a soft touch. It changes the balance of power in Westminster as well. She'll be one of the most powerful foreign secretaries in British history. And she's already a darling of the Tory grassroots. So this sets her up to be a strong rival to the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, as a potential replacement for Boris Johnson as Prime Prime Minister.